We've got some big Pokemon Go news to catch up on, including all of the details for Go Battle League Season 8. So with that in mind, we've got some news. So before we get into all of the main details for Go Battle League Season 8, I do want to quickly go over a, a controversy that actually occurred in regards to the... Uh, rank reward stardust for Go Battle League Season 8. This particular issue was originally brought up on a Reddit post from Reddit user FMC Garts, uh, but was really brought into the, or really amplified and really brought into the mainstream from a video posted by YouTuber slash Twitch streamer Zionic on his YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and leave both the Reddit post and the YouTube video linked in the description down below if you want to check those out yourself. Uh, but to and do a quick TLDR for that one. Essentially, um, while Niantic has promised um, events and times where you'll get yourself two, even three times more Stardust than usual, which we'll actually talk about later on in this video, uh, one thing that they have not mentioned is that they've essentially reduced um, the amount of Stardust you gain from your rank rewards basically in half. So, for example, if you were to, to uh, get yourself a 5-0 run from uh, during a battle in rank 1, in Season 7 you would have gotten yourself roughly around 1,000 Stardust, give or take. Um, however, in Season 8, if you were to get that same 5-0 run in rank 1, you would have essentially only netted around 500 Stardust. Uh, from your rank reward. So ultimately FMC guards did do some of the calculations and uh, he did note that even uh, if you were to perform uh, roughly the same throughout season 7 and season 8, even if you were to add in all of the two or three times Stardust bonuses as well as all the extra events during season 8 into consideration, you would only um, you only be able to net yourself around 80% of the total amount of Stardust um, in Season 8 that you would have gotten in Season 7. Naturally, this did not sit very well with people. Nonetheless, um, Niantic has responded to this um, not too long after everything was brought to light. Essentially, they have corrected this by resetting the Stardust rewards back to how they were at the end of Season 7, and they've also stated that, you know, in order to compensate for the missed Stardust in the first week of the season, they have increased the end of Season 8 Stardust rewards to twice the Season 7 Stardust amount, so at the very at least you're definitely going to want to use your star piece uh, for the um, end of season 8 rewards that's for sure yeah they've also apologized for the inconvenience that this has caused and has stated that this problem ultimately uh, came about due to an oversight but uh, regardless of uh, whatever reason it was uh, thank you very much to Zionic and FMC guards for bringing attention to this issue uh, bringing attention to this issue and not really sure if I should be particularly thanking Niantic for fixing a problem that they've ultimately caused, but at the very least, I greatly appreciate the revert back to the Season 7 Stardust Rewards as well as the End of Season Compensation. So now with that controversy all said and done, let's go ahead and talk about the general details for Go Battle League Season 8, starting out with the general timeline. Always so much fun. <laughs> much like previous Go Battle League seasons, we have started out in Great League, which ran from Monday, May 31st until Monday, June 14th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Right now, we are about to start uh, Ultra League and its Premier Cup, which is running from Monday, June 14th at 1 p.m. until Monday, June 28th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Following that will be Master League, Master League Classic, and a brand new cup known as the Element Cup, which will be running from Monday, June 28th at 1 p.m. Pacific time until Monday, July 12th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. We'll go ahead and talk about the details for the Element Cup later on. But one thing to note about these couple of weeks is that if you battle during this time, you'll receive twice the amount of Stardust from Rin Rewards and End of Season and End of Set Rewards as well. Following that, we'll be returning back to Great League and we'll also be seeing the return of Great League Remix, which will be running from Monday, July 12th at 1 p.m. Pacific time until Monday, July 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, following that, Ultra League and 
as well as the brand new Ultra League Remix will be running from Monday, July 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time until Monday, August 9th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time. We'll go ahead and let you know um, what that entails, both for Ultra League Remix as well as some interesting changes for Great Great League Remix uh, later on in this video. But following that, um, Master League, Master League Classic, and the Ultra League Premier Cup will be making its return from Monday, August 9th at 1 p.m. until Monday, August 23rd at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, once again, like the previous time where Master League returned, you'll be earning two times Stardust throughout these couple of weeks as well. And then finally, to close everything out, all three leagues will be running from Monday, August 23rd at 1 p.m. until Monday, August 30th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So along with this general timeline, we'll also be seeing the return of Go Battle Knights. So we initially had one on Thursday, June 3rd from 6 p.m. until 11.59 p.m. and your local time. Uh, well, the next one we'll be seeing is on Sunday, July 11th from 6 to 11.59 p.m. in your local time. Uh, this will be coinciding with the night with Master League, Master League Classic, as well as the Element Cup. And we'll have one final Go Battle Night on Thursday, August 26th from 6 p.m. until 11.59 p.m. in your local time. Uh, this one will be coinciding with the availability of all three leagues. Ultimately, during these nights, you'll have a chance to complete up to 20 sets of Go Battle League battles or 100 battles in a Go Battle League total. And during this entire night, you'll be able to receive three times the amount of Stardust for winning battles, completing sets of battles, and ranking up in the Go Battle League. Um, one extra thing they do note though is that uh, during the Master League uh, Go Battle Night, it will not be combining with the two times Stardust bonus, so I'm sorry, you will not be getting six times Stardust <laughs> during the Master League Go Battle Night. So next up, uh, we do have some significant changes both to the Season 8 rewards, but also to the rank up requirements for Go Battle League Season 8. Uh, first and foremost, for that rank up requirements, they have been adjusted so that yeah, you'll be able to reach rank 20 much more quickly. So that way you can worry about less about having to get from rank 1 to 20 and more about uh, going through your ratings in order to get from Ace to Legend. We'll, we'll see how all that works out <laughs> throughout the season. Uh, but nonetheless, um, in regards to the changes to the Season 8 rewards, uh, the Pikachu Libre Avatar items will once again be available, and they'll be available for trainers who reach the rank of 5. Following that, in regards to more Avatar swag, as well as an Avatar pose, um, you'll earn Avatar items and a pose inspired by the fighting type gym leader Karina. First and foremost, you'll get yourself some Karina style gloves at Ace rank. At Veteran rank, you'll be able to receive Karina style shoes. Expert rank, you'll be able to receive either Karina style outfit and the Karina style pants and top. Uh, and finally, at Legend rank, you'll be able to receive the Karina pose, which uh, it's a pose, I guess. Along with that, at rank 19, you'll receive yourself an Elite Charge TM as well as an Elite Fast TM as an end of season reward. Niantic has also provided the list of Pokemon you can encounter as you rank up during this season. Uh, starting out at rank 1, you are guaranteed an encounter with Machamp. After that, rank 1 and up, you'll be able to encounter Pokemon such as Machoke, Ariados, Sableye, Snover, and more. Uh, at rank 5, you're guaranteed an encounter with the martial arts Pokemon Mianfu, who is indeed making his Pokemon Go debut during this season. Uh, following that, rank 5 and up, you'll be able to encounter Mianfu as well as all of the Pokemon available from the previous ranks. Uh, for rank 10 and up, you'll be able to encounter Pokemon such as Toxicroak, Stunfish, and the male version of Frillish, as well as all the Pokemon available from previous ranks. Uh, for rank 15 and up, you'll be able to encounter Pokemon such as Skarmory, Scraggy, and Rufflet, as well as, again, the Pokemon available from previous ranks. Rank 20 and up, you'll be able to encounter the legendary Pokemon appearing in 5 star raids at that time, as well as, once again, all the Pokemon available from previous ranks. Uh, for veteran ranking up, you're guaranteed an encounter with Gibble at least once, and then you have a chance of encountering Gibble alongside the previous encounter pool following that. Uh, expert ranking up, you'll be guaranteed to encounter Dano at least once, and once again, you'll have a chance at encountering Dano alongside the previous encounter pool thereafter. And finally, at Legend rank, you'll be guaranteed to encounter a Pikachu Libre 
and it is worth noting that this will be the only time you'll be able to encounter Pikachu Libre during this season. So now let's get into the details of both the familiar and the brand new cups that are featured throughout Go Battle League Season 8. Uh, first and foremost, for Great League Remix, the 20 Pokemon that are most used by the trainers and Ace rank and up in Great League uh, will not be allowed to compete in Great League Remix. So this list includes Venusaur, Alola Ninetales, Alola Marowak, Meganium, Azumarill, Politoed, Umbreon, Skarmory, Swampert, Pelipper, Vigoroth, Medicham, Altaria, Defense Form Deoxys, Bastiodon, Toxicroak, Scrafty, Galvantula, Galarian Stunfisk, and Talonflame. Uh, with that in mind, Ultra League Remix follows pretty much the similar formula. Basically, the 20 Ultra League Pokemon that were most used by trainers in the Ace rank and up uh, are not uh, eligible to compete in the Ultra League Remix. This list includes Venusaur, Charizard, Clefable, Poliwrath, Alolan Muck, Gyarados, Lapras, Articuno, Umbreon, Scizor, Swampert, Registeel, Empoleon, Togekiss, the altered form of Giratina, Cresselia, Escavalier, Talonflame, Melmetal, and Obstagoon. Finally, for the last and newest addition to all of the cups for Great League, we have the Element Cup, which takes a lot of inspiration from the Little Cup, which occurred all the way back in Season 5. Uh, basically, only Pokemon that can evolve and that are the first in their evolutionary line will be eligible for this cup, and there is a, lim a CP limit of 500. Along with all this, uh, true to its name, only Fire, Water, and Grass-type Pokemon are allowed to compete in the Element Cup. It is worth knowing that Pokemon of multiple types are allowed so long as one of their types is fire, water, or grass. Ultimately, if you do want to kind of get familiar with the meta of any of these new cups, and or if you want to re-familiarize yourself with any of the metas for Great Ultra or Master League, or Master League Classic, I'll go ahead and leave some resources available in the description down below. So one final thing to note about Go Battle League Season 8 is that there are some attack updates that will be added to Pokemon Go, or has been added to Pokemon Go since the start of Season 8. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we do have two new attacks introduced to Pokemon Go. Uh, first one is the Rock-type version of Weather Ball. Um, this was officially added to Hippodon, but I believe it's also been... Uh, added to the normal type version of cast form if I recall correctly. Along with this we do have ourselves a brand new flying type charge attack known as Feather Dance. Uh, this move has the ability to sharply decrease the opponent's attack stat and is currently only available to Pidgeot. With the way Feather Dance is described there's no way that this has made Pidgeot absolutely overpowered so overpowered the fact that it somehow found a way to cause people the opponents to crash out of go battle league essentially banning pidgeot from go battle league until further notice yep definitely definitely not something that has happened and uh, has no way <laughs> created this much of an impact on go battle league <laughs> nope absolutely not there have been some uh updates to currently existing attacks for trainer battles a lot of these seem to do with poison type moves uh, first and foremost for the poison type charge attack acid spray it will now require less energy to use uh, the poison type fast attack poison jab now deals more damage and the fast attack poison sting now generates more energy uh, the poison type charge attack cross poison now deals more damage and has a higher chance of sharply increasing your Pokemon's attack stat. Uh, and finally, the poison type charge attack poison fang now has a 100% chance to decrease the opposing Pokemon's defense stat. So along with all of these changes to poison type moves, we do have a couple other uh, non-poison type moves that have gained some updates as well. Uh, the, dragon, the dragon type fast attack dragon tail now deals more damage but generates less energy. And finally, the fighting type charge attack focus blast now deals more damage. Along with all of these new moves and these new updates, we do have some Pokemon that will be learning some new attacks as well. Uh, Ariados will now be able to learn the bug type charge attack lunge. Uh, Needle Queen and Crobat are able to learn the Charge Attack Poison Fang. And finally, Crobat will also be able to learn the Poison-type Charge Attack 
cross poison. Uh, ultimately, with the uh, new updates to the, all these different poison type moves, as well as the introduction of said poison type moves to Needle Queen and Crobat, uh, this definitely has uh, shifted the meta fairly, uh, fairly well, at the very least in Great League. Um, definitely introduced some, or definitely gained some boost to some newly meta relevant poison type Pokemon. Looking at you, Nino Queen. <laughs> um, but if you do want to see how much this has affected the meta, not only in Great League, but in Ultra League and potentially in Master League as well, I'll go ahead and once again have all of the resources uh, for the PvP metas in the description down below. Okay, so that's all of the news I have for this video. Of course, we do still have other. Uh, big pieces of Pokemon Go news to talk about, including the rest of the June events and the Season of Discovery, as well as the upcoming Go Fest. So definitely keep an eye out for those videos if they haven't been released already. But yeah, uh, ultimately that pretty much does it for this video. Uh, once again, I hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy during this time. And I guess I'll see you guys out on the battlefield.